Recently, we've seen a lot of the major NFT marketplaces start to make creator fees, also known as royalties, completely optional. The main source of income for most projects has been from royalties. So this has been a big change for the NFT community, especially for creators. Luckily, OpenSea has finally announced the first step of their solution. They've created a tool which will be integrated into your smart contract, which will prevent marketplaces who don't enforce royalties from transferring your NFT. But OpenSea is planning on releasing a solution for pre-existing projects in December 2022. My name is Reese Hunter, and today I'm going to teach you how to use OpenSea's on-chain enforcement tool to blacklist marketplaces from selling your NFT. Let's get right into it. The first thing we're going to have to do is actually download this enforcement tool. So I have a GitHub repository where you can download all the files, which will work in Remix IDE, which is what we'll be using. And you're going to go over to code and download zip. What this does is it downloads these files so we can open it up. It'll be a zip file and there'll be a folder inside. We just want to drag this over to its own directory. So now we have this folder outside of the zip and we can delete the zip if you want. So now we can close out of that and head over to Remix IDE. This is a place where you can write and compile smart contracts. I've used this before in a lot of my previous videos. So once you've loaded up Remix, you're going to click on this little icon, which will load a local file into this current workspace. So we're going to click that and go over to this OpenSea Enforcer folder and click open. Now we're going to select all of these and click open again. And now you'll be able to see that all of those files are now in Remix. This step is necessary because now we will be able to use these files in our actual NFT smart contract. So now what we're going to have to do is write our smart contract and implement this tool into it. Now, luckily you don't have to write your entire own smart contract. I have another GitHub repository, which has all of the basics in it. So you can just go ahead and copy all of the code in there. There will be a link to this in the description, head back over to remix, right click contracts and make a new file. I'm just going to name this NFT enforced .soul. You can name this whatever you want and I'm gonna paste all of that code in here. Right when we paste it, we can see that there is an error. This requires version 0.8.9, but we are not on that version. So I'm gonna go over to this icon, switch it from 0.7 to 0.9. Now when I save it, it will compile, check for all the errors, and once it's done, the error will disappear. There we go, we just finished compiling, and now it's done. So I'm gonna go back over to this file explorer, and we're going to need to add another import in here for the tool. So we're going to import and this little thing will show up and we're going to import default operator filter dot soul. And you should receive another error because this smart contract requires version 0.8.13. So we're going to have to go ahead and change that again. Okay. So I switched it to 0.8.13 and all of our errors went away so we can move on to the next step. So all we have to do is go over to this first line where the contract is being defined and we're going to add default operator filterer. So in this line, we're just importing the code. And in this line, we're telling our contract to use it. And just like that, we're pretty much done. All we have to do now is go back over to these files on my GitHub, the OpenSea Enforcer repository, and we're going to head over to the example erc 721soul file. This code is basically just an example of how you can implement this tool in your own smart contract. So it overrides the transfer from and safe transfer from and adds this only allowed operator, which essentially just means that only people who enforce royalties can call this function. So we're going to copy these three functions just like this, copy those, and we're just going to paste them in our smart contract. So once that's pasted in, you'll get a couple errors. All you have to do is delete the from in parentheses from all of these. So once we do that, you'll see the errors will go away. And when we compile it, it'll come up with no errors. And once you've done that, you're actually completely finished. So now if you want to deploy the smart contract, which we've done in many previous videos, you can select where you want to deploy it. If you're doing mainnet or any testnet, then you're going to want to do injected provider. It'll ask you to connect your MetaMask wallet. And then once you're in, you're probably on the main net already. If you don't want to deploy to the main net, you can click this and it'll open up all the other test nets. You'll probably want to go with go early or however you pronounce that. 
but I'll just stick with mainnet for this example. I'm not actually going to deploy it. And then you're going to want to go here and compile the smart contract. Once that's done, you can go back and select the contract from here, and then you can click deploy. Click confirm, and this MetaMask window will pop up, and you will be able to confirm. Now you know exactly how you can easily implement OpenSea's on-chain enforcement tool to use for your own smart contract. I hope I was able to teach you something new in this video, and if I wasn't able to, be sure to let me know in the comments how I can improve. And if you like my content, be sure to also check out my Twitter account. I'll leave a link in the description, and I will see you guys in the next video.